Hello, it's Anders. Today, we're making a Mai Tai. Welcome back. Today is a fun day because we are doing tiki. Uh, this is our first tiki drink on the channel, so I'm excited. And we are doing the Mai Tai. If you are interested in tiki, Mai Tai should be at the top of your list. Everybody kind of has their own Mai Tai recipe, and it is okay because they're all Mai Tais. So I'm gonna show you the recipe that I use. Very simple ratios, very easy to remember, and very, very delicious. Buckle up, get ready, keep all hands inside the vehicle at all times, and let's make a Mai Tai. It's Mai Tai time. Mai Tai. To the bar. So we're gonna need a Boston shaker, and a jigger, also a double old fashioned glass, and we're gonna be using crushed ice. So if you have regular ice, you're gonna have to crush it or buy crushed ice. Also limes, uh, fresh limes because fresh juice is very important in this cocktail, and hang on to a few of the lime shells because we're gonna use them later. Other garnishes, I've got mint and cocktail cherry. Now the booze. You're gonna need Jamaican rum, rum agricole, orange curacao, and dark rum, lime juice, and orgeat. This is my homemade orgeat. If you didn't have a chance to watch the video, um, I did make a video on how to make easy orgeat. Otherwise, if you have a favorite store-bought, you can use that too. The Jamaican rum I'm using is Appleton Estate 12-year rare blend. The rum agricole is La Favorite Amber. The orange curacao is Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. And the dark rum is Kaloa Dark Hawaiian rum. I wanna talk briefly about rums. So these are the three rums that I'm using. Rums vary a lot. So there are a number of different kinds and I like to have a blend of a few different ones. First, this dark rum is gonna be a float. These are my two main rums. We have a Jamaican rum and a rum agricole. Jamaican rum is made from molasses and rum agricole is made from raw cane juice. So they're both from sugar, but different forms. The Jamaican rum is a very funky rum. In fact, Appleton is not as funky as it goes. This is a mild funk compared to some of them like Hampton or Hamilton, Dr. Bird, they make really funky rum. So if, if you are into big funk, go with some of those. This is this gives you a taste of funk. Agricoles, on the other hand, have more of a grassy taste. And if you get an unaged agricole, it's gonna be even grassier. So this one is slightly aged, so it's a little toned down, but you still get the grassiness. So these are our base. And then at the end, I'm gonna do a float of this dark rum, Koloa, which is a Hawaiian rum, Kauai specifically. It's a dark rum that has really strong notes of vanilla. So I pour a little on top because it goes really well with the homemade orgeat. That's my secret ingredient. A little bit of vanilla in the form of rum. Rum, rum, rum. <sighs> that being said, use whatever rum you want. Now let's build. I'm gonna start with the Jamaican rum. One ounce of Jamaican rum. One ounce of rum agricole. Then half an ounce of orange curacao. one ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of orgeat. Depending on who makes the Mai Tai, the ratio can vary. You can have really sweet, uh, more of a really sour, or really boozy, strong cocktail. But the setup that I've got here is very simple. So it's gonna be one part these ingredients and two parts these ingredients. One, two. So these are all one ounce and these are all half an ounce. Easy peasy. Where was I? Now we have to add crushed ice. I've already crushed my ice in this Lewis bag. Where's my scoop? Where's my scoop? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right here. Right here. Add a little bit of crushed ice and then just shake it up. Because it's crushed ice, it's gonna chill and dilute really quickly. So you don't have to shake for very long. There we go. Open pour into the glass. And then I like to top it off with more crushed ice. Fresh, freshly crushed ice. Don't fill it all the way to the top because we're gonna do a rum float and then 
garnish will actually take some room too. So on this glass, I'm gonna say there. Then half ounce of your dark rum right on top. It's already pretty. So to garnish, we're gonna do a big sprig of mint, which I am not prepared for here. Oh, it smells good though. The mint on this cocktail is fantastic. I highly recommend mint with your Mai Tai. Nice, nice. And then your inverted lime shell. After you squeeze out the juice, here, let me show you. It looks like this, and then just punch it through. Make sure there's no hole in it. No holes, So, because you'll see, I'll show you. <laughs> just lay that right on top. And now is when you can add the cocktail cherry. So put the cocktail cherry right in the little boat. And that's pretty much a traditional Mai Tai. But I like to add one last thing as a, a nice little touch. And we have this little bowl with the cherry in it. And it's a perfect place for more rum. This is just 151 rum. So something strong because I'm gonna light this on fire. This is the number one tiki that we sell, and it might be because of the fire, I don't know. So when I ignite this, it's gonna make a blue flame. I hope it shows up because it's daylight and I'm wearing a blue shirt, but if you really wanna go for a big flame, use pure lemon oil or citrus oil. It's extremely flammable and makes a bright yellow flame that will actually get pretty high. Visually, there's nothing like it, but it's very, very bitter. So I never use that, I just use rum, because if 151 rum gets into my cocktail, I'm okay with it being a little strong, but if lemon oil gets into my cocktail, I'm not okay with it being really bitter. So I'm using 151 rum. Huh? Does everybody see that? Can you see it? This is a very dangerous cocktail because it'll burn your face. So that's it, the Mai Tai. Before you drink it, blow out any flame that is about to approach your face. Uh, blow out the fire. Straws. This drink is uh, much more fun to look at at nighttime when you can see the blue flame, but it tastes delicious any time of the day. It's really good. Mm. If you want to kick it up, you just tip your little lime shell, push it down into the cocktail. Ooh. Yeah, really good. You wanna try it? Oh, sure. Actually, I think this is the first tiki drink I learned how to make. This is an important one. It's like uh, a Manhattan is to pre-prohibition classics, the Mai Tai is to tiki. If you wanna kick up the funk, use a funkier Jamaican rum. This one would work. Hamilton Jamaican pot still black. This is a delicious rum. Or you could do this as a float on top. That would be very good. And if you wanted a grassier one, use an unaged agricole. Like this, come on. There's a million different ways you can have a Mai Tai. You can have a big flavor, easy flavor, whatever you want. Mm. When buying a Lewis bag, make sure it's triple stitched because they want to break at the seams. This is from Sip. I'll put a link down below. And when you get a Lewis bag, you have to get this. This is the best part. This is, uh, this is Thor's hammer. You can get it uh, any Scandinavian shop. No, this is uh, the mallet for breaking up the ice. Uh, this is made by Visky. There's one cute, oh. <laughs> I, this little scoop, it's a, it's a very strong scoop. Oh, even the table's fine. Yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more like it. Everything's fine. Nobody got hurt, nothing broke. Don't keep your little ice scoop in your Lewis bag. They're gonna smash it. So yeah, that's it, the Mai Tai. So again, I encourage you to use whatever rums you wanna use, whatever ratios you want, and find out what you like the best, and that will be your Mai Tai. So I hope you enjoy this cocktail as much as I do. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified. <laughs> that's what that bell's there for. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. I miss you. I miss you. Bye. You and that drink kind of look similar. Wait, what do I you mean, mean? I mean your hair. My hair? Oh.
My hair is getting long. I'm just, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> this is Oz's scrunchie. Um, thank you, Oz, for letting me use the scrunchie. You're welcome. But I'll get a haircut one day. You are what you drink.